Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to do a, a YouTube video on uh, doing my makeup for mature women. Um, I am 41 and so I uh, decided I probably needed to like learn how to do my makeup uh, as I'm getting older so that I don't look like I'm still in my 20s and I don't end up looking like a little girl or a clown. So I watched a couple of videos um, on doing makeup for mature mature women, and um, one of them that was really good, she did um, the eyes, and she did, um, her, her YouTube channel is called Mature Makeup Masterclass, and she did a really good job with that. So um, first off, I'm going to start with my... Um, my foundation. So this is a serum foundation with sunscreen. It's L'Oreal Age Perfect and mine is in ivory. So I'm just going to start off with that. Um, this one is kind of a medium coverage, I would say. I don't ever use a real heavy coverage because I always kind of feel like I look too, um, too plastered on or like too cakey. So I just do medium coverage or I really like to do just like, um, a tinted, a tinted moisturizer. Yeah. So but I have some mascara still kind of left on from last night, even though I washed my, wash my face real good. It just still kind of, it always kind of stays on. I'm not sure how this is, this is going to work the best. Let's see. There, I think that'll work. Okay. Great. I'm not sure if you guys can hear my Native American flute music playing in the background. I don't know why I love Native American flute music. Um, whenever I was younger, I think we went on a field trip or like a family trip to, I think it was Natural Bridge Caverns, and um, they had those little, those little sounds, and you could like buy a tape, a cassette tape, and um, I loved the Native American flute music one, so I bought the cassette tape, and I remember, I think I bought the cassette tape, I'm not 100% sure if I did, but um I just really like Native American flute music. It's very soothing to me. Um, so, okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the to the eyes. And that's what I really wanted to focus in on because I kind of feel like I, um, <clears throat> I don't really know how to do eyes for mature women. So um, I am going to use this palette. It's called Sweet Treat. Um, I actually got it at TJ Maxx, but it has a lot of, um, a lot of different shades, really beautiful ones. So I am probably going to use the lightest one and then a medium one. I really like this one. I wish I could incorporate this into it somehow. And then a darker one, probably that one. This is going to be just for like a daytime look. She said, this is fine for a daytime look. So First off, I'm going to use the, the lightest one and I'm going to go ahead and just cover my entire lid so that I don't have anything sticking to, to the lid too much and then being more pigmented than it should be. So I'm just going to cover it with this. Okay, and then I took notes so that I would not be sure not to miss a step. Okay, and then um, then you're, I'm going to go in with a medium tone, and I'm going to cover the whole lid just below the brow bone. I'm not going to get the brow bone. So I really want to use this shimmery one, and it is a medium one, so I'm going to go ahead and try it. It is so, so pretty. It reminds me of like a a latte or something with, with glitter on it. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess we probably wouldn't want glitter on our lattes anyway. Okay. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to just kind of cover the, the whole lid. 
I think I'm going to mix a little bit of no, I think that's good. Okay, so I'm just gonna cover the whole lid. I hope this lighting is good. I'm kind of thinking maybe it's too much. This would be, no, that one's better. Okay. Cover that and I'm gonna be sure not to get my brow bone. Okay. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. It's such a pretty shimmery color. It's pretty light. It's a little lighter than hers, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, okay, and then, then she was talking about using a shimmer stick or just like a really light eyeshadow you can also use. I happen to have this one from Thrive. Let's see, Thrive, and it is, let's see, it's called... Brilliant Eye Brightener in Stella, and it looks like this. It's a really nice um, kind of thick stick, and she said go into um, the corner of your eyes. And then kind of along the edge here. to kind of open up your eye a little bit, make it look like you have more of a, of a lid. Oh yeah, I can see that. Okay, that does look really good. And I'm gonna do a little on the, the lower part here. I'm gonna try to cover up. I have still that mascara from yesterday. Okay, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Okay. Next step, um, I'm gonna uh, go, go in with my darkest shade and she said use a pencil brush, but I don't think I have a pencil brush. So I'm gonna use this fluffy brush. It's It's kind of a fluffy brush. It's between a fluffy brush and a well, it's not a pencil brush, but it's it's not quite as fluffy as her brush was. So <clears throat> I'm going to use this and I'm going to take the darkest color and I'm going to create a C shape is what she said. So I'm going to use this very chocolatey brown one and try and create a C shape. So I'm going to go like, like that and then kind of that. And she didn't really blend in this step, so I'm gonna kind of leave it like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Next one. Okay, I think that looks really good. And then I'm going to take my eyeliner and do a little bit of eyeliner on the lower, the lower lid. <clears throat> I have this one from Physicians Formula. It's a, it's a pretty um, light brown color. I really like it. It just looks like that. I don't buy a lot of um, really expensive makeup. I just try to get the good drugstore brands. I feel like they do as good of job. Um, of course, if I had more money, made more money, I would probably buy from Sephora or Ulta, but that's fine. I did actually spend $30 on some lip gloss yesterday. I was watching a YouTube channel and she was talking about this lip gloss that helps plump your lips. And so I was like, I want to try that. So I ended up buying it. And in total, I paid $40 for it with taxes and shipping. Um, but hopefully it's going to be 
a uh, a good investment and I it's gonna just work wonders for my lips you know it's a really pretty shade of pink though with like the gold tones to it so I, I think I'll love it okay so now I have a little bit of eyeliner on the lower lid what's the next step okay and then I'm gonna take my fluffy brush again and I'm gonna put a little bit of the medium tone just a tap, or I'm gonna make sure all of the dark get more of the okay. I'm gonna get the medium tone and then kind of blend that C a little bit in. Okay, just kind of blend in and up. Okay, yeah, that looks good. And then I'm gonna do the other side. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that looks good. I'm loving it. Um, okay, and then that is it for my eyes, except for I'm going to do a little mascara. I'm going to use the one I have from Estee Lauder. I'm loving this one. Oh, yeah, I did did spend a little more on some um, Estee Lauder blush, and then I got the, the little gift with it, and the mascara came with it. It's really good mascara. I have our, I really like Milani mascara, so whenever I run out of this, I'll probably go back to that. Milani one it's it's so good it is drugstore brand but um it just makes my lashes look so long and I also feel like it helps them grow I don't know what's in it but it's the best mascara I've ever used this one's really good too I feel like my lighting still isn't on point, but I'm working on it. <laughs> okay. And then other side. I don't ever curl my lashes. I know a lot of people do. Uh, I just don't really feel a need to do it. Just putting on mascara seems to be enough for me. So I just do the mascara and that is all I do. I've never used false eyelashes either. I would consider it, but I don't know. I just kind of don't really want to make the investment or spend the time doing it. And then I'm like, do you sleep in them? Do you take them off? Seems like a lot of trouble, but anyway, okay. That's looking really good. I wish it showed up a little bit better, but anyway. Okay. And then I just want to do a little bit of concealer still kind of fighting the under eye bags but this foundation I used is pretty good at, at that so I'm just going to use a tiny bit and this one that I use is by Pix is Pixie uh, this is a Target brand one or I guess it's a they probably sell it at Walmart too okay and I'm going to use my little I forget what these are called this little blender tool it's kind of hard to get in there well, I already have my makeup on, but I didn't want to have any fallout and then the fallout stick more to the concealer and then it's just a big mess. So I decided to do the concealer almost last. Okay, so that's good. That just kind of brightens up the eyes a little bit. Okay, and then next I'm doing my blush. I love this blush. I got it from Estee Lauder from Dillard's and it's so pretty. It's this color. Um, it is called, what is it called? Pink Kiss. Pink Kiss. And I'm just going to use this fluffy brush here and I'm just going to grab a little bit of color, not too much. And I'm going to try and go in just on the, kind of on top of the cheekbone, kind of a little bit to the middle of the cheek. I'm not sure if that's showing up. I still feel like my lighting. I need help with my lighting. <laughs> okay. No, I don't know if that's better or worse. Okay, let's try that. All right. And then other side. I really don't mind aging, y'all. I mean, it's hard because 
No, that's worse. It's hard because your body starts to hurt more and you just don't have the energy that you used to have. And like, I just, I can't take the stairs as fast as I used to be able to. Um, but like, I feel like I'm trying to, you know, preserve myself as well as I can. I take my vitamins, my fish oil and, um, drink a lot of water. Um, I don't have kids, so I really have time for all of that. And I really, um, you know, I don't mind growing older. I feel like along with age usually comes, usually comes respect. Um, not always, but, um, yeah, I don't mind getting older. <clears throat> okay. And the last thing I'm going to do is this lipstick. This one is L'Oreal and it is in, I love this one. It's in the shade peach fuzz. This is my favorite lipstick. I just think it's so pretty. It's got such a nice shimmer to it and the shade. I just, I love the shade. Anyway. Okay. So, yeah, that looks good. Okay. I'm loving that. I think that I learned a little bit from that tutorial um, about how to like do the eyeshadow a little bit better and using this shimmer stick. I never really knew exactly what this was for. So glad to learn that. Um, so anyways, thank you all guys for watching my mature makeup uh, video. I wanted to leave y'all with a quote from the Bible today on wisdom, since we're talking about aging a little bit. Um, in the book of James chapter three, verse 17, it says, but the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure then peace loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy, impartial, and sincere. I just love that verse. I, I love all the, the good words in there. So anyway, thanks again so much for watching. If you leave any comments down below, please make sure to be kind and polite and respectful. And I hope everyone has a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.